do you ever get super stressed out about your manifestations like where are they are they gonna come do you need to do something what do you need to do what's the next step that can cause a lot of anxiety and in this video i'm going to talk about what causes that and how to stop it hello and welcome to we were wellness where we talk about mindset spirituality manifestation mental health and a lot more so today i want to talk about you know that stress or that anxiety around manifesting your desires you know if you want something really badly let's say you want a house you are just thinking about it all day all night contacting property agents searching on the internet looking and thinking and getting super stressed out about it that causes a lot of anxiety this can be a very real fear like i don't want to undermine it by saying oh that's stupid or you should just not be scared but i want to talk about how you can overcome that the first thing that i want to share is that there is a masculine and feminine energy present in the world, okay? Everything is polar, everything there's light and day, night and night and day, light and darkness. Just like that, there's also the energy of masculine and feminine. And when they are balanced, you can create. And that's what the perfect energy is to actually see your desires into reality. So in this case, when you are super stressed out about, you know, manifesting your desires and wondering, are you doing the right thing? Are you doing enough? What should the right step be? Always thinking about that, that can cause in a very practical sense, cause you to get very jittery, right? And nervous. And you might be angsty all day. You might be constantly checking your phone because you're just stressed out. You might be constantly doing something. You can't sit still, right? Even if it's not even related to what you want. It might just be completely different you might just be like you know distracting yourself with something to do but the underlying reason is because that energy the doing energy is there so it's not necessary that you're trying to go and you know contact more people to find a house you might just be doing some other work but you feel like you have to be doing something otherwise you feel stressed out or anxious like something's wrong you're kind of forcing forcing like if you're not doing something that means something's not happening if you're not doing something that means your manifestation is not going to come into reality but that is an example of overly masculine energy okay that's all about the doing 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 what do i need to do how do i force this into reality and again i'm reiterating it doesn't have to actually be doing about your desire it could just be you constantly doing something i have noticed this in the past week because i am actually taking this from my journal which is super cute um i have been you know trying to manifest something big that's kind of why i'm inviting you into this journey on youtube where i'm just seeing you know how can i manifest i've seen that i was caught up in this doing energy i'm constantly stressed out and i'm constantly wondering oh my gosh you know like i should be doing something and it doesn't have to be about what I'm actually desiring. I just feel like I might be cleaning my room, organizing things, you know, just like shuffling papers around, but I have to be doing something. And that sort of soothes me. It's like, it's also sort of a trauma response, right? It's a cover up, it's a cop out because I'm not actually facing the truth, which is I can manifest without doing. It's just like my easy way of covering it up, you know, like, okay, yeah, I'll just do something all the time. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. It's, that's like a limiting belief. That's more into psychology and mindset and all of that but right now talking spirituality so although it's all related back to the energy so this is a masculine energy of doing and what i realized is that clearly it's unbalanced i need to shift a little bit more into feminine energy be more intentional about tapping into that feminine energy and i know that's easier said than done what does that even mean um i think i've actually created a video on this but i will tell you some examples so feminine energy is all about being self-care you know your intuition and receiving and that's why that's the key to manifesting your desires because you do but then you have to be open to receiving so how can you be how can you be more feminine and tap into that feminine energy well something simple like self-care painting your nails washing your face doing skincare routine but it doesn't stop there um feminine energy is all about creating creativity so you know even if you just sit down and doodle or paint or color or write something or just listen to music dance these are all some ways that you can tap into the feminine energy and this is very it's a lot simpler than trying to like sit down and just be because i know that's hard right when you're stressed out and overthinking if you can't just be like oh i'm gonna sit down and be 
So this is a kind of a hack to do things, but do things that are feminine, that call in the feminine energy. It's a very good bridge, um, a gateway going from overly masculine to sort of the doing bit of feminine. And then you can maybe slowly ease into more of the relaxation, the receiving, the being of feminine energy. That's what I just wanted to share is that you can balance your energy. If you find yourself overly stressed out, overly anxious um, about something you're manifesting, you know, that's also going to cause a cycle of exhaustion because you're just going to constantly be thinking about it. Your mental energy is going to go down. Um, your physical energy, because you keep doing, 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 is going to go down as well. You're going to end up exhausted both mentally and physically. And then you're going to be more stressed because you can't do anything. It's like a cycle. So when you find yourself in that cycle, pause and tap into the feminine energy. Try to do something that's creative. Try to do something that's light. Even caring for other people, helping other people, that maternal energy, that's very feminine, right? So that motherly love. So like if you go help out someone or maybe cook, bake something for somebody, any of those things. And when you do tap into that, you will feel a lot more at ease. You will balance your energy internally and yeah, you can manifest your desires a lot faster. Another practical way of doing this is, this is literally what I did yesterday. So I was stressed out, right? I was thinking, oh my gosh, I have to do th these things, but I have a morning routine and I journal and then I meditate. So yesterday I was like, okay, I need to journal, meditate. And then I had this long to-do list, but after I meditated, it just didn't feel enough. So that was a key example of going into my feminine energy intentionally, intentionally being. I decided to meditate for even longer, for another 15 minutes, rather than going straight into my to-do list, which is of masculine energy, right? So there are very simple, practical ways that you can balance this. Just be open and know that it's okay to be, to pause, to meditate and not do anything, even though your desire hasn't come into reality yet, because that could be the thing that's like not letting it come into reality. You're just doing, 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 and you're not open to receiving. That's what I wanted to share with you. If you like this video, do give it a like, you know, subscribe, do all that jazz, good stuff. Um, I really appreciate your views and your comments. So do comment below as well what you thought about this video and what you're manifesting. Um, but besides that, I hope to see you in the next video soon. So take care. Bye.